this one right now only no 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 ka no ka ju, juel leo owns and operates his own e-bike repair shop in the fordham heights section of the bronx where he opened up an unauthorized non-UL certified lithium ion e-bike battery to show us why he welcomes news of a new city council backed lithium ion battery trade in program. UL stands for underwriter laboratories and represents a universally accepted industry safety standard. The city council approved the two year trade in program Thursday and aims to get the dangerous explosion prone devices off the street. Bill sponsor, Councilman Keith Powers. So that people with uncertified batteries and bikes can surrender their dangerous equipment and receive safe replacements at reduced or no cost. According to the FDNY, so far this year, 14 people have died with more than 100 others injured in fires tied to faulty lithium ion batteries. Powers says the city will pressure app delivery companies to publicize the trade-in program among their fleet of e-bike riding delivery workers. But he acknowledges he's also counting on a grassroots effort led by the riders who often take their e-bikes home. Back in the shop, Leo tells us he's now seeing two other issues with e-batteries, and they have nothing to do with their non-UL certification. Fresh problem, and the people use and uh, the, the wrong charger. They use the oh, wrong yes. charger. Only, only key, only key look like this. Uh, a lot of people see the battery no bore, so he take out this. He take out this is like 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 bone. So the technical explanation for using the wrong charger, if you use the wrong voltage charger, it can charge the battery too quickly. The battery overheats and then and it, it can explode. The city is going to work with the fire department on disposing of all of the bad batteries it collects. Again, this is a two year trade in program. We're live in the Fordham Heights section of the Bronx this evening. Jay Dow, Pix 11 News.